guys, it's Jessie V. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about someone named Mr. Frost that you should definitely be on the lookout for this winter and this Christmas. I had never heard of this entity, creature, person, thing until now, and I'm definitely terrified. Before I jump right into this very creepy story though, as you can see, I have a new December backdrop. It's kind of like a cozy Christmas living room. It has like the stockings hung up. It has the Christmas tree it has like a little chair over here. I love it. It's so cozy. But because I have a new backdrop, that means I'll be announcing the winner of last month's backdrop. That entry was on my book channel and on my Goodreads profile. And I have chose someone from YouTube on my book channel. And that person is Allison Fagan. And I love how they have my profile picture. That's me right there. But congratulations and thank you to anyone who went out and supported my book channel. And so now if you would like to win this Christmassy backdrop, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jessie V channel, turn on your notification bell, and then we're gonna head over to TikTok, guys. I have joined Book Talk. So I've always had like my Jessie V official verified channel on there, and that's not gonna change. That's gonna stay the same. But I wanted to create another one for my book reviews. Yes, guys, I love books so much. Can you not tell? But that account is called Jessie's Bookshelf. I'll link it down below for you. And all you have to do is follow that TikTok account and just comment something on my recent video. And I'll just be picking someone who I see commenting a lot on the videos that I post this month. So it's a very simple one. Hopefully everyone has TikTok. If not, I always try to do something different every single month so everyone has a chance. But yeah, that's all you have to do to be entered to win. I have a couple more things I want to mention. We still have a handful left of Christmas mystery boxes. These do have the golden tickets hidden somewhere inside them. One ticket is for a virtual collaboration with me on this channel. One is for a personalized video from me. And another one is for a letter and signed art print for me. But yeah, Christmas mystery boxes are linked down below. And the last thing I want to mention is that I now have have subscriptions on my Instagram account. I know Instagram is rolling these out slowly to different creators on the platform and it basically allows you to have exclusive like VIP content with me on there. So subscriber only live streams, subscriber only group chats, pictures, videos, giveaways. It's kind of like you being added to my close friends list if that makes sense. So you just head over to my profile, you press subscribe, you can cancel at any time and yeah I'll just be showing those people things that I wouldn't really show the public and I can't wait to privately chat with you guys and yeah thank you so much for all of your support I really appreciate you guys my Instagram account is also linked down below oh by the way do you like that I'm all decked out for Christmas so my dad knows that for any sort of seasonal time like Christmas Halloween Easter whatever I go full out with my outfits so whenever he's like shopping out with my mom and he sees like a crazy sweater or crazy pajamas or a top he'll like text me and be like I'm getting this for you. And then I wear it in a video. He just knows me so well. I would hope so. He's my dad. Okay, so without further ado, let's talk about Mr. Frostbite. It is said that on extremely cold and snowy nights, he'll knock very softly on your bedroom window while you are sleeping. And he has these incredibly long, thin nails that he just taps against the window glass over and over again. Some people have even said that it sounds like the gentle tapping of rain, which is so creepy because maybe you would hear it and be like, oh, it's just storming outside. Once you wake up and go to your window to investigate what you've been hearing, you'll look outside and see footprints in the snow leading up to your house that seem to just stop at your window as if the person who made them just disappeared into thin air. As you stare in confusion, the glass will begin to be covered in frost and then a ghostly fingernail will write your name in the frost right in front of you. And before you're able to run out of your room to tell your parents, because obviously you're terrified, you'll begin to hear the soft sound of sleigh bells outside. The sound will begin to put you in a trance and you'll slowly lift your window to feel the cold rush of wind come into your bedroom. The sleigh bells get louder and louder as you begin to see a face forming in the falling snow. It calls your name softly and beckons you to come outside. You don't even care how cold it is. You're just curious to see where this creature is going to take you. You land in a soft 
pile of snow, your pajamas getting covered in ice and frost, and you reach out towards this strange face in the wind, but it keeps getting farther and farther from your reach. You begin to get frostbite on your feet, your nose, your hands, your fingers, your ears, but you don't even really seem to feel it. What you don't know is that this creature is very evil and does not have good intentions for you. You're basically being hypnotized to follow it through the snow all night long until you've turned to ice by morning. You're nothing but a blue statue outside of your house. So if you ever hear tapping on your window at night around this time of year, don't go look outside and whatever you do, do not open your window. First we have the Grinch in the other video and now we have Mr. Frost to be worried about. It's times like this that I'm glad I wear earplugs to bed. <laughs> so maybe I wouldn't even hear the tapping or the sleigh bells. I have to wear earplugs because my dog and my husband snores and it's hard to sleep, okay? So yeah, that story really freaked me out and then I found this other snow sort of ice creature. This is actually a Japanese urban legend. This one's called Sarara Ona or also known as the Icicle Woman. Sarara Ona are beautiful women that are created from the loneliness of single men during the winter time. When a man gazes longingly at a strong, beautiful icicle hanging from a roof and reflects upon his loneliness, this creature may appear shortly afterwards. On the surface, she appears to be an ordinary but very beautiful woman. But when the winter snow melts and icicles can no longer be seen hanging from roofs, they disappear along with the cold weather. So these men only have have companionship for a very short amount of time while it's winter. Despite their icy origins, they can be quite warm and loving spirits. In fact, many stories of Sararaona involve one which has fallen in love and married a human. And like I said, these marriages and relationships unfortunately end in tragedy because when the spring comes, their brides leave them in confusion and heartbreak. And because these creatures look like ordinary women, it's kind of hard to decipher when you see one. One recognizes recognizable warning sign is an unwillingness to enter a bath. Occasionally, stories tell of a woman who refuses to take a bath no matter how much her husband pressures her. And instead of fighting, she eventually enters this warm water. And when her husband comes back into the room to see how she's doing, all that's left is shards of ice floating in the bath, which is also really sad. Like he'll marry this woman and like months will go by and she doesn't shower, she doesn't bath. And he's like, hey, you should probably like go clean up. And then she does and she's gone. So there's this iconic story about this happening to a man, about him meeting one of these creatures and ending up heartbroken. A young single man gazed out his window on a cold snowy night and he sat there wistfully admiring the lovely winter scene. He wished in his heart that he could find a wife as beautiful as the icicles hanging from his roof. And suddenly he hears this knock at his door and this woman's voice says, excuse me, I was traveling along this road, but the snowstorm became too fierce and I cannot journey any further. Further, might I lodge at your house for the night? The young man, of course, accepts this. He makes sure that her stay is as comfortable as possible. He gives her food, water, takes care of her. And several months later, this woman is still staying in his house because yes, they have fallen in love. She forgot about this journey she was on entirely. They get married. They were just extremely happy together. One spring morning, the beautiful young bride went out shopping and that night she did not return. This young man waited for her to return night after night. The snow melted, the blossoms began to bloom. Soon it was spring, then summer, and his wife was just gone. The man went on searches. He asked everyone if they had seen her, but no one had. So he slowly began to accept that she must have left him. And then he later remarried another woman from his village. The following winter during a snowstorm, the young man found himself looking out the window at the long icicles hanging from his roof. Suddenly, there was a knock on his door and the beautiful woman from the previous year, from the previous winter was standing there, his ex-wife, and he was shocked to see that she had come back. He told her, I search for you every day. What is the meaning of this? How could you just vanish like that without a word? And the woman replied, people have different circumstances, you know, but we promise to love each other forever. You said that our bond was as long and as solid as the beautiful icicles hanging from your roof. And yet you have remarried. So now she's mad. She's back and she's mad because he doesn't realize that she's a creature that only appears in the winter. So they got married in the winter, they were happy, the spring came, she had to melt, she had to disappear. And then when she came back the next winter, like ready to like rekindle their love and continue, he had moved on. So he basically told 
her she had to leave because he had a new wife, he was happy again, he was no longer with this woman. So she left with this very sad look on her face. This man was watching her leave and suddenly his new wife spoke from behind him and said, who was at the door? Who are you talking to? Is everything okay? And he replied with, it's nothing, stay inside. Suddenly there was this loud crash and shriek near the front of the house. The new wife ran to the door to see if her husband was okay and there lying in the front yard was her husband. He was dead, pierced through the brain by an enormous icicle which had fallen from the roof. So this was his first wife, this winter creature getting revenge on her husband for moving on. So it's definitely a, a very disturbing and kind of sad story, but clearly this is another winter creature that you do not want to mess with. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget if you would like to enter to win this new backdrop, just head over to my new TikTok channel, Jessie's Bookshelf. Give it a follow and comment all my recent videos and if you would like a Christmas mystery box that is also linked below but I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!